Cheeky Richo's chocolate ripple cake and little no-bake chocolate ripple cupcakes. Hi, it's Nathan's birthday and so we're going to show him how we make his favourite cake. That's right, we're making a chocolate ripple cake. Some of you may know it as an icebox cake or it's even loosely called a zebra cake sometimes. The ingredients are in the recipe box below. So let's get on to Nathan's chocolate ripple birthday cake. The first thing that we've done is inserted our butterfly bar into our Thermo Chef. Using only a few ingredients, we're going to add our very cold cream, our vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract, and our icing sugar. Now we never exceed speed four on our Thermo Chef processing when we have the butterfly bar inserted, otherwise it could become dislodged and it'll get chopped up. So just on speed three until it's firmly whipped. After 53 seconds, it's just got soft peaks. We're just going to scrape down the sides and the lid to ensure all the unwhipped cream, which has been flicked up during the processing, is down where it belongs. So just push it down and then we're going to continue to whip it. Now you don't want to make butter at this stage, so just keep your eye on it and just do it in a few second increments at a time. Again on speed three. For 10 more seconds. More seconds later, we're just going to scrape it down. You can see through the lid of the jug, but it's a lot better to have a look down inside so you can just gauge the level of thickness. We're nearly done. I'd say another four or five seconds. Okay, five seconds later, this is what you should have. It's actually holding its peaks. You can see that? That's what we're after. Okay, we've got a platter here. We're just going to spread a little cream onto that platter and that's going to be what we stand our biscuits in. Now we have some Arnest chocolate ripple biscuits here. They're not actually chocolate coated, they're just chocolate flavoured. They're marketed in different ways around the world. If you can't get Arnott's where you live, you might try the Nabisco chocolate wafer biscuits. Now what we're going to do now is assemble our cake. This is an adult cake, so we've got some Tia Maria. Spread them our biscuits with our cream. So don't put too much on there, about that much, about just over a teaspoon. Okay, we just stand our first biscuit in our whipped cream. Then we dip our next biscuit in a little Tia Maria, just dip it straight in one side. That's what you have to do, you don't want to make it real soggy. Spread the back of it with a little bit of our cream again. And continue with the rest into our Tia, into our cream, and into our log. And it'll actually stand up and sandwich together quite readily. And then we just put that on there like so. So it's a little chocolate log, all held together with the cream. Chocolate ripple cupcakes. So we just get our chocolate ripple biscuits sandwich them on top like so, put a lid on, another sandwich like so, and pop the lid on there. That's what you should have. You just get another one, put the lid on like so, and like so. You can get quite a production here. The kids can help you with this. These ones don't have to be covered in the cream. They're just made like so. Biscuit on top, and pop that on so. So we've got three little cupcakes there that we're going to put a blob of cream on the top. We're just going to drag up that excess cream from the bottom and make like a crumb coat over our cake, our cream over the top of it. So we just want to have something for the whipped cream to adhere to. Okay, so we just spread our cream over the top so you completely cover those biscuits in a log fashion. And we're going to pop it into the refrigerator to completely chill and what will happen is the moisture in the cream will soak into those biscuits and make it very cake-like. It has to be chilled for about four hours and then it's cut on the diagonal and you can see the slices of the biscuits through the cream. Now to decorate our little cupcakes we're just going to try very hard not to get too much body heat onto these biscuits. We're just going to ruffle them. These have to go straight into the fridge, it's very hot here today. And there you have it, some little cheeky richo chocolate ripple cupcakes, snow bake. About four ingredients, but into the fridge they go. And there you have it, cheeky richo's chocolate ripple cake. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you would like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our cheeky richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe. Do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. And there we have our little no bake chocolate ripple cupcakes. Okay, make sure you cut it on the diagonal so you get a cross section of our biscuits and you'll see that it cuts beautifully. The biscuit has soaked up all of the tea maria and the cream and turned into a cake. Mm. Cheeky Richo's chocolate ripple cake.
Happy birthday!